Hello guys, this is episode 2 of like safety tips. We went, I went over the basic and pretty obvious safety tips about how to not get scammed or hacked. Which are, well, actually scamming is happening very frequently. So we will start this, even though it's already started, with this. Ah, the better days in Jama. No members, no scammers, no hackers. Someone just, now we will focus on the more difficult scams. Jammer Kate, that's just weird. <coughs> Let's just put a sad face and a shocked face. <gasps> yeah, let put the cry face on. Playing along with the crowd. Isn't an item that's seen on your tree list? You said spike. Okay. So there's people who will pretend to be scammed, and that's pretty hard because. Yeah. You know they want um, to trick you into sending them good items because they because they they get scammed. I mean scammed because you can't even say scam here. You have to say scan. But you never know. This person it could actually be true. Like you never know. I'm okay. You know what? So people stop asking me. I'm gonna turn to a really poor person. Well, not really. But eh, look. I'm not anyone rich, I'm just, um, like, you know, random jammer that's really poor, says a person with a bunch of stuff. Lol. Well, there's jammers rare. There's like a hundred jammers rare than me. It's better stuff than I do. So, um, oh my gosh, I don't have a headdress, okay? I, or a spike. Bunny claws. Don't tell me there's a bunny claw. Anyways, there's people who will pretend to be hacked. Okay, she was she was actually probably telling the truth because you know she isn't asking she isn't asking for any item. She's just saying that she got scanned. Oh, never mind. Train me a spike. If I had a, I would give everyone a spike if I had a hundred. Oh, it's not rare. Never mind. If it's an if if it's a non rare spike, then that's pretty unfair for you. Actually, no, it's a pretty decent trade. Pretty decent. Yeah, but there's some people, that's the main, that's the main, um, hack thing. People will try and hack you by, well, not hack you, scam you by saying they got scammed. And you never know if that's true or not, because, you know, they're not gonna, you're not going to say. Another thing is trust trade. Like, many people like trust trading, but, like, I think, find it pretty stupid. I mean, it's it's more obvious that you're gonna get that you get scammed because with the people who pretend they're getting scammed, you like you don't you don't know if it's true or not. Like you don't know if it was if it's true or not. At least in a trust trade, if people like are actually lying, then you'll just get scammed. And you'll know it. So, so yeah, that's... Um, people will try and hack you for like almost no reason or like scam you. Also, there's some sites that will try and like get all your age information if you're logged on to them too, I've heard. So you should only be logged on to Animal Jam. Well, I'm actually logged on on Google, but like, you know, who isn't logged on on Google? Whoops. I'm pretty sure Google is fine. I'm so bad with Macs. 
because this is a Mac. But anyways, there's there's like there's been like like from okay, let's see what's an old item. Since since box since rare box sets came back in stores, there's been a lot there's been like a lot more hackers and scamming people than from when they weren't in stores. Oh snap, I only have one box set left. One more box set. Oh my gosh. Lol. Butterfly balloon hat. Same balloon hat. Same thing. And that's pretty much it. People will try to hack you. And scam you, but like, you know, scamming has gone up a lot recently, so you have to watch out. Like, there's at least, most of the time, there's at least one person here trying to scam you at one point. First seat, first person trim, you will get to my outfit and more. Well, you don't know if this is a, you don't know if this is a truth or not truth. Well, I do have a bow on trade, but you know, she's see. So then everyone starts doing that. Well, if you want, if you want to do like a I never accept thing for fun, guess what? You shouldn't do that. Everyone's just gonna say you're a scan, and probably you're gonna get reported like a hundred times and banned for a month, probably, because you know, you don't know who to trust now in Animal Jam. First. Because people have become rare obsessed, and now all they want is rares. It's like rares, 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 beta items. Um, I don't like rare items a lot. Like, I wasn't such a big fan of spikes, but I realized, oh, with the warns and the top hats, they look pretty cool. <laughs> But really, my original outfit, which is over here, I'm pretty sure this one's fine. No one's going to ask me for anything except for the lava glove. I'm pretty sure this one's fine. Okay, let me just take the lava glove off. Sort by item. Also, like, if your account doesn't have any rare things, it's very unlikely for it to get hacked. Like, I have a decent amount of rare stuff, but, like, not a lot. So, I usually do rare, I have, like, all this, like, the sucky rares that no one likes. And I'm probably going to trade them all and have none, lol. And I don't have a black halo. I don't even think I have a halo anymore, because I used to have one. Still have a halo, and it's like yes. You know, go back to my den. Anyways, those are the ways to avoid hacking and scamming. Just don't like trust anyone who who you like don't think has to be trusted. It's mostly logic though, like just for just for one bow, who's gonna send you their entire rare outfit? You might as well trade it. Like, if someone's like, oh, I'll trade my outfit for a bow, then that's not a scam. Because, you know, obviously you're going to get their items. But, like, if you if they do set, if you do trade me a bow for, like, they'll say I trade my outfit for a bow, like, then they'll trade you. But then, like, if they put something else on trade and they say trade me a bow, then that's a scam. But it's only a scam if they say, trade me a bow, and I'll give you blah. Like, if they say, trade me a bow, and they just want you to trade them a bow, it's not scam, because, you know, they, they, don't, they aren't saying they're going to send you anything. They're just, like, saying, trade me a, you're just basically saying, trade me a bow, and you get what's on my trade, that's it. 
or like you get the item you want or traded the bow for on my trade. So I don't think anyone mixes up scams with like just people asking for items. This, say see, send me, oh send me, well. If people say send me things, it's not a scam because they're not gonna give you anything in return. If you want a golden fence in my den, this is either a trust trade or like a, or like a, whatchamacallit. It's either a trust or a, like a, very, like a offer thing. Sometimes they make you, if there's a lot of people, sometimes they like make you trust trade and like they, and then they lock you out of, they either scam you and lock you out, uh, out of their den or they lock you out of your den. And some people who scam you say, oh, I'm not going to scam you because you can add me. But, but, the, but, the, but then like when, once they scam you, they like unbuddy, they unbuddy you and then they run away. They lock you out and then like they unbuddy you and then like they're off already. So the only, if you want to, if you like, like all these scammers and hackers are like really ruining the fun point about the trust trade and everything, even though it is originally stupid. I don't think flashing is bad because flashing, all you have to do is like trade all these good items and then like cancel it before they can accept. That's a flash. And so then they can't accept it, but then like you still have an entry. Well, that's what they say flashed me for 10 seconds, lol. Well, obviously that's a bad idea because I can even I can accept the trade in 10 seconds. Depends. Hmm. Depends, but you know. Don't get tricked by people because they will try and scam you. It's not guaranteed, but they will. Anyways, that's it for today, and now come back up.